Hi, my name is Scott Kelly and I'm an astronaut aboard the International Space Station. What I'd like to show you today is uh, where we sleep and they are called crew quarters and uh, we have four here along the uh, both walls, the ceiling and the floor and uh, this is a node 2 of the International Space Station. Mine is uh, located on the ceiling right here and I'd like you, I'd like to uh, welcome you inside and uh, show you around a bit. This is the uh, inside of the crew quarters and uh, although it's located on the ceiling because the the uh, floor is by my feet and the ceiling in the crew quarters is by my head it doesn't feel like I'm sleeping on the ceiling at all. It just feels like I'm sleeping in a uh, any of the uh, locations, uh, normal orientation, I guess you could say, on the International Space Station. Uh, in here, uh, we sleep. This is where we get our, uh, our changed clothes. We do, uh, you know, brush our teeth and uh, you know shave and those kind of things. We also take a little uh, sponge bath. We don't have a shower here on board the International Station Space Station, so we have to use like a uh, sponge bath and uh, uh, we also do some work so we have uh, I have uh, two computers in here one's more of a uh, computer for uh, connecting to the onboard uh, systems and uh, you know particularly like email and procedures we have a program called called world map where we can see where we are over the earth managing all of our picture taking and also um, our schedule is also on this uh, computer, our, our timeline, and uh, this other computer here is for accessing accessing the uh, internet on the ground. And it's uh, sporadic and pretty slow at times. It is actually a, a nice capability to be able to get on the uh, internet real time, uh, send emails and receive emails from uh, uh, my. Uh, normal uh, work email account if I desire to do that to maybe get on uh, some online banking uh, If I need to do something like that, you could actually even buy uh, you know a present if you needed to um, Sleeping is done on the wall here in a, in a sleeping bag. It's a very uh, comfortable Way to sleep once you get used to it at first. It's uh, can be rather rather difficult but once you get the hang of it it's actually really comfortable more comfortable than on earth for me at least I sleep much better up here than I do in my own bed at home and uh, so even though you're floating um, I guess because it takes a lot of the pressure off your your body it's actually rather rather comfortable some holes here for your arms and I uh, Sleep just like this, and uh, if I don't zip the sleeping bag up far enough, sometimes I float into the computer and it wakes me up, which isn't fun. So I try to get the sleeping bag zipped up far enough. Some people like to be kind of secured against the wall with bungees so they feel like they're more in a bed, but uh, I like sleeping uh, just kind of floating here like this. Sometimes I put my hands together, it seems more comfortable, but it's a great way to sleep I get easily six to seven hours sleep on a good night but if we're really busy uh, sometimes less unfortunately but like I said better than I do on earth um, what else are we doing here we have a telephone it's kind of like a Skype phone it's um, you know voice over IP basically just uses the computer and as long as we have the proper satellite connection, we can call anyone on the Earth just using these Bose headsets and a uh, and this uh, microphone like this. Very uh, very convenient. Um, as far as clothes are concerned, uh, we don't have a whole lot of space here, so all the clothing we use in uh, six months is probably what you could fit in uh, one large suitcase. Um, a shirt generally lasts you about a month, pants maybe two months, underwear you know anywhere from three to five days, socks about a month, and uh, you know workout gear um, about a month. Um, 
but you know it's really odd for some reason you don't feel like the clothes get that dirty uh, the environments uh, pretty nice up here temperature humidity wise so you don't really sweat in the in the clothing that you're wearing and then it's you're not necessarily up against your body all the time because you're kind of floating inside of it so it doesn't uh, you know I would never consider wearing a shirt or a pair of pants shirt for a month or a pair of pants for two months um, at home but uh, for whatever reason up here it doesn't seem too bad um, also have some some books um, well, it's kind of nice to be able to read in space something you don't uh, really get to do on a shuttle mission. So I got a couple books here. One by my one of my personal heroes, Ernest Shackleton, about his endurance expedition uh, to the uh, the Antarctic, and uh, another one called The Long Walk about a group of people that escaped from a uh, a prison camp and basically walked. Uh, across the uh, continent of Asia to get home. Um, also have some personal pictures up here, but I took them down for this for privacy reasons. Um, but uh, in any case, um, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, enjoyed the tour here and uh, kind of got a sense for uh, what it's like in our living quarters aboard the International Space Station. Thank you.